Hey guys, today's video is going to be for high-end products that in my opinion aren't really worth the money. You can find way cheaper alternatives, products that perform exactly the same, if not even better, but for like a fraction of the price. So in my opinion, these products are just not worth spending that higher price tag on. I have eight products total that I'm going to show in this video. And just a disclaimer, even though like they don't work for me, they didn't perform how I thought that they would, they might be other people's like holy grail products. So these just didn't work for me. I I wouldn't recommend them to you guys, but again, this is all just my opinion on these products, so take it for what it's worth, and I will write and link below all of these products that I'm mentioning in case you wanna check any of them out for yourself. Like I said, even though they didn't work for me, they might work for you. This video is also a collab with the amazingly gorgeous Amelia Liana here on YouTube. I have her video right over here for you guys. So she is also doing her high-end products that she thinks are not worth the money. So definitely make sure to check out her video and subscribe to her channel. I just adore her and I know you guys will too. Amelia is extremely beautiful. So it's very easy to watch her videos. I think she has the best hair on YouTube. I'm always just staring at it. It's like that very thick, perfectly curled kind of hair that I can never seem to achieve. She's just great. She does beauty videos, product recommendations, get ready with me. She even does healthy recipes and she has vlogs on her channel and she just does a whole bunch of really great videos that I know you guys are going to love. So I will link her channel and her video below. So definitely make sure to check it out and subscribe. So now I am just going to get onto the products that I think are not worth the money. First one is the NARS Liquid Illuminators. This comes in like three or four different colors. They are $30 and for me they just don't do much at all. They don't illuminate like they say they're supposed to. When you put this on your skin you do see a little bit of a shine but it just kind of looks like you're putting on a lotion. Like you get kind of that like shimmery wet look when you put on a lotion. I never really reach for this product. If I do want to have like a nice glow either on my cheekbone or my collarbone, I will just use like a powder highlight. It definitely stays put and you can actually see it um, a lot better than this. But I will say that if you have extremely dry skin where your skin just looks really dull and you want that kind of like dewy finish, you could definitely try mixing a product like this into your foundation and it will really give you more of like a radiant to your skin so that is one thing that maybe this would work for someone like that I have extremely oily skin so I wouldn't use it for that purpose but I do see how this could be a great product for someone with dry skin um, you know to mix it with your foundation but for me for using it just as like an illuminator it doesn't really show up and it's not worth $30. Okay, next up is the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush. I have it in the shade Candy Glow. Now, the packaging on this is seriously amazing. When you look at this actual blush, it looks so beautiful. But when you actually go to put this on, you're just going to get a very sheer wash of color. It actually looks like a highlighter as opposed to a blush. And buy this for that purpose, then go for it. But if you actually want, want to use this as a blush, it's just, the pigmentation isn't there for $30, um, but the packaging is super cute and it makes for really awesome Instagram photos. <laughs> okay, moving on, this is another $30 product. I feel like that's the common price range here, but this is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. Now, I normally never buy high-end mascaras. My Maybelline Colossal Volume is all I need in my life, but I actually had a sample of this and it was so good. I splurged on the full size of this and within about a week's time, it was completely dried out and I kept trying to use it and trying to use it because I just bought it. And it was just so clumpy and dry and it did not work after about a week. And for $30, I thought that formula would at least last a couple of months. So I was extremely disappointed. I don't know if I just got a dud of this. Please let me know if you use this or if you've used it in the past. Did yours dry out as fast as mine did? I don't know if I just got very unlucky on this one. But if it is a common thing that this dries out very quickly, don't be fooled by the first few applications. It is not a good formula. Next, I have a product by Kate Somerville. This is called True Lash, and the concept of this is pretty cool. It's a lash enhancing eye makeup remover. So if you think about that, something that can remove all of your eye makeup while actually making your eyelashes grow longer, that's such a cool concept, like an innovative idea to put two and two together. This actually does have good reviews on Sephora's website. But for me, it did not remove my eye makeup and I don't wear like waterproof mascara or anything like that. And besides it not removing the eye makeup, it actually burned really bad. Like I felt like I was putting acid into my eyes. I gave it like three shots and after the third time using this and it burning and having to like flush it out, I just totally stopped using this. So I can't say if it actually does enhance your eyelashes or not because 
I didn't get to use it to that extent, but as an eye makeup remover, it's not good. It's $36, I don't know if I already said that. There was like a ton of positive reviews on this, but for me, it didn't work. I wouldn't recommend it because of that stinging factor and because as an actual eye makeup remover, it doesn't really do a good job. Okay, next up is a product that again, does have pretty good, pretty positive reviews on Sephora's website, but is the Benefit Gimme Brow. It is $24, I believe, it's called Gimme Brow because it's actually supposed to be like a gel fiber and it says that it's supposed to actually give you the look of having eyebrows where there actually is none. For me, it just is not a good product. I used it a couple times, it just was not working for me and I know that there are people who love this but for me it doesn't work for a couple of reasons. One, it just kind of doesn't fill in my brows. If you have difficult to fill in brows, like where the hair is very, very sparse, like for me, I have almost like bald eyebrows like towards the front of them. I really have to use a uh, powder shadow and fill them in pretty strongly so that it actually matches like the rest of my brows. But definitely didn't give me the look of having eyebrows in the areas where they don't really grow. I think that if you already have extremely nice eyebrows where they grow evenly throughout the entire brow, this would be a good product to just kind of deepen them up and make them stand out a little bit. Okay, next I have the OPI Sheer Tints. I bought all four color, colors of these because I thought it was a really cool concept that it was something new and different in the nail polish world, which kind of gets me excited. So I wanted to try them out. I knew they were going to be sheer in formula because they are called a sheer tint. But what I didn't like about these is the actual formula. I mean, imagine painting your nails with honey. That is how the formula of these felt. It's definitely completely different than just like a sheer formula nail polish. The actual formula of this is super, super weird and thick and gloopy. Supposedly good for making like really cool watercolor nails um, on top of like a white polish. If you want something similar without wasting your money on something like this, all you have to do is mix your regular nail polish like on a little paper plate or something with equal parts of a clear top coat, mix it around, you're going to get that same like sheer jelly consistency. It creates a really cool watercolor look on your nails without having to splurge on a $10 bottle of nail polish. Well, for me it was $40 because I bought all four colors. So this is like kind of a gimmicky thing. It's just not good. All right guys, I have two more products. This next one is probably out of everything that I'm showing you today, probably the one that I think is by far not worth the money. Like it is the worst one. It is the Bare Minerals Well Rested Face and Eye Brightener. So this is supposed to be a sheer mineral brightener. You can put it anywhere on your face to give it more like uh, just brightness. It even says that it's supposed to like diminish dark spots over time. Now I know that it actually says the color is clear, but I mean it really is clear. It does absolutely nothing for your face. Can't believe like they charge $22 for this. It does nothing. It doesn't brighten up my skin. It actually makes the makeup I already have on almost like um what's it called? Dilutes it and kind of smears it. It's just not good. It's pretty much like a clicky pen of just like a clear clear lotion that doesn't do really anything. Okay, and the very last product that is not worth the money is actually a product from Lush. I'm pretty new to Lush. I did a couple months ago, my very first time shopping at Lush haul. I'll put it below if you wanna see it, but in that haul video, I showed this product, which by the way, I only bought this because a lot of you guys recommended it to me. So it does obviously work for some people. It just didn't work for me. It is the Defluff Strawberry Shaving Soap. Now I bought the small size, which was I think, I wanna say $10, but the actual full size is like $17 for a shaving um, soap. Now why this didn't work for me, it kind of crumbled. It didn't actually give like a nice lather. I don't know if I was using this wrong, or I got a dried out version of this, or maybe it was old, I don't really know, but it just kind of crumbled on my skin, and it got pink stuff all over my shower. I had to actually like physically go in and clean off all of the walls of my shower because it kind of like stuck to everything. So it was just hard to work with. I would definitely never buy this again. I would just get a regular shaving foam thing from the drugstore, way cheaper to me, way less of a hassle, and this didn't even like make my skin feel moisturized or anything like that, so. I don't know if I'm applying this wrong, you guys, but it just didn't work for me. I know a lot of you love it. Just not worth the money to me. So that is all of the high-end products that I think are not worth the money. I would love to know if you've ever tried out a high-end product that you thought didn't perform well, maybe it was hyped up and it just didn't meet your expectations. I would love to know in the comments below, that way I can steer clear of those products. So yeah, hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to check out Amelia's channel. I will put her video below, her um, high-end products not worth the money. And while you're there, definitely subscribe because she's amazing and you guys will love her. So thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you soon.